our weakened Lord, he's mocked, he's suffering, he's unable to carry his own cross. Verse 26, they grab a guy named Simon of Cyrene. He comes in from the country, he's there for the Passover, and they place upon him the cross, listen, to carry behind Jesus. All right, where's the hope in that? Let me read that again. To carry the cross behind Jesus. Sound familiar? Anything come to mind? Recovered in Luke. Probably the greatest verse on discipleship, on what it means to be a Christian. Luke 9, 23. Jesus said to them all, if anyone wishes to come after me, he must deny himself and what? Take up his cross daily and follow me. You, you can picture this in your mind. You, you can picture Jesus and you can picture this guy laboring to carry this cross beam. Following behind Jesus. There's Jesus out in front, as he always is. The good shepherd leads the flock. Jesus isn't following us. We're not telling Jesus what to do. He's not going where we want to go. Thank God for that. Giving us our way at all times. He's not in the back. He's not the coward. He's out in front taking the blows for us. We're casting all of our cares upon him because he cares for us, right? He's taking the shots. He's wearing the burdens. He's carrying the blood. He's taking the blows to his face. He's taking the thorn of crowns on his head. He's taking the nails in his hands and his feet. He's taking that cross that he will bear for six hours. He's taking that so we don't have to take it. He's a bloody mess because of us. Where are we? We're behind him. We're carrying the cross with Jesus. That's discipleship. To take up the cross, to be willing to suffer. That's simply what it meant. That's the only thing it could have meant to the first century. Take up the cross, suffer with Jesus. Follow behind your master, bear that cross, and suffer shame with him. That's what it means to be a Christian. 